The most common problem affecting the operation of electronic vacuum gauges is oil contamination. Oil and other contaminants in the sensor may affect the ability to detect changes in a vacuum level. All electronic vacuum gauges are subject to oil contamination. In this video, we will show you how to best avoid oil contamination. The most common source of oil contamination is from the vacuum pump. The vacuum in an evacuated system can pull oil out of a vacuum pump when the pump is shut off or loses power. For this reason, it is best to locate the sensor away from the vacuum pump at the system port. If the sensor must be located at the pump, always isolate the pump from the vacuum gauge with a valve before turning the pump off. Oil is also present in all AC&R systems and can move through the piping or hoses during evacuation or pressurization of a system. To minimize the chance of this oil getting into the sensor, inspect fittings for signs of oil before connecting the vacuum gauge. Also, try keeping the sensor vertical when possible. We recommend connecting the vacuum gauge to the side port of a Yellow Jacket 18975 vacuum charge valve. The 18975 tool allows you to remove the excess fitting valve core for faster evacuation. It also allows you to properly isolate the system from the pump and hoses during the vacuum hold testing. Always pull the system below 28 inches of mercury before connecting the electronic vacuum gauge to the side port of the valve. If system oil is going to move through the piping or hoses, it will happen during the first part of the evacuation when flow rates are highest. Similarly, when breaking the vacuum with dry nitrogen or refrigerant, increase the pressure slowly until it is slightly positive above atmospheric pressure and remove the vacuum gauge sensor before continuing. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on the ideas page at www.yellowjacketuniversity.com.